Hello again. We're looking at applying some of those log rules we just learned. So we might have some weird equation like this, where we're given minus log to the, f sorry, minus log four. And it's important to remember if we don't see a base written, then it's assumed it's 10. 10 is kind of the default. In fact, when you see log on your calculator, that is log to the base 10. It's just they don't bother writing the base 10 because it's assumed. So we have minus log 4 plus 2 times log 5 plus log of 16. And all of these are to the base 10 because we don't see a base. So minus log of 4 plus 2 times log of 5 plus log of 16. And we want to solve that. We want to figure out what this actually is. So we can apply our various rules. Remember, in this case, two pluses are the product rule, and a minus is the quotient rule. So we can combine all of these. And actually, first things first, sorry, kind of jumped ahead. We're going to get rid of this two. Two log five, remember, we can use the power rule kind of in reverse of how we originally looked at it. Because I can bring this up and write it as log five squared plus log 16. Because we want them all to be the same, no weird factors in front. So now, apply the product rule. We can rewrite this as minus log to the 4, going very methodically through it. And I can combine these. Plus log 5 squared times 16. That is our product rule being applied right there. And, ne and then we can use a quotient rule to put this on the bottom. So we can think we're subtracting, so quotient rule, log of 5 squared, which I'm now going to write as 25, times 16, all over 4. And I'm going to clean up my brackets so this looks a little bit better, because we're taking the log of this entire term. Great. Well, now we have a bunch of numbers. We can actually just crunch through them. We can actually figure out what this is, take out our calculator and go, okay, 25 times 16, or 400. 400 divided by 4, 100. Double check for yourself, make sure you get 100. If not, double check your calculator. It is important to get used to using a calculator because that's often what's helping you get your answer. You can't use your calculator properly. You might get a problem wrong just because you didn't punch in things properly. So make sure you use extra brackets where needed. But ultimately, we have a log of 100. Log to the base 10 of 100. Remember, what does the logarithm mean? Well, what do I have to raise the base to? What power do I have to put that to to get this? So what power do I have to put 10 to in order to get 100? And I kind of accidentally said the answer in that sentence, 2. 10 to the power of 2 is 100. So this is all just the same as saying 2. Log to the base 10 of 100 is 2 because 10 to the power of 2 is 100. So we're all done.